There really are no special occasions. I think, especially in the here and now, every day is the special occasion. So daily, I bring out the plates, the pretty plates, the nice linens, I buy fresh flowers. Daily, I try to make all things beautiful. I do it for myself, the people I live with, the very ones I love. In our home, it's always food that brings us together. And I can't really cook anything fancy, but, but I can create the backdrop for a nice meal. They always tell me that making things beautiful is my, my love language. I don't want to feel rushed or burdened. I just want to enjoy it, so I don't set any rules. Whatever goes, whatever works. Not everything has to be perfect. As long as it makes my heart happy, that should be the only rule. So over the years, I've collected linens. Some are made by the local seamstress following my instructions. Others I have bought on trips here and there over a span of many years. The ones I almost always use, I place in a cabinet near the dining area. The others are stored elsewhere. I also have all these nice fabric for my little sewing projects and I organize them in packing cubes. And until I turn them into quilts or pillowcases, throws and pouches, I often use them for table settings just because they're pretty. So I just sort of layer everything, have fun with it. Today I feel like starting with this gingham in blue and white. I had the edges trimmed with ruffles. It isn't big enough to fit the table, but using two will make it work. The next two layers make use of pretty cotton fabric meant for pillowcases or a little girl's dress. The hem is still unsewn, but it looks nice, just the same. The prints and colors look pretty all together. This last layer is a green gingham with embroidered yellow flowers. And I remember I was catching a flight to Shanghai at the airport and um, I saw this in a shop as I was about to board. I couldn't resist. I got it. I've used it many times over the years. It's handmade. I also want to showcase today our very pretty plates from Truest. Every year we release a design. We started with mugs and then we moved on to plates. They make me smile and somehow they make everything look good. The fact that they sell very well in our little online store called Topiary is, I think, affirmation enough also that many love it just as much. The crocheted napkins were made by Nangri Singh. It's a, it's a sentimental memory. She has since passed, but she was the one who taught me how to crochet. The blue napkins with red roses I had made a very long time ago. I ordered it from a lady. I told her, can you just embroider please red roses on blue linens? And she came up with this. So today's cut flowers are roses that have the freedom to just be. No need to arrange or prop them in vases. Just place them loosely all around the prettiness that is already there. So the table is ready. Juliana has some friends staying over for a bit. The pizza is handmade from my sister's kitchen because her son loves it and eats it every day. The chicken, 
<laughs> I ordered lang from a restaurant. It is a happy day. <laughs>